Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future videos. So today, we are talking about Harley Quinn Season 1, Episode 11. And Poison Ivy's kind of a badass. I mean, we already knew she was a badass, but uh, she, even more so badass uh, because she can kill a bunch of people without using any of her powers. And, of course, respecting the Second Amendment uh, with, of course, having background checks and uh, laws that make sense for the Second Amendment, which I thought was kind of a fun little nidbit in there. Uh, we learned that Harley Quinn is Poison Ivy's biggest fear because she had never really had a lot of friends. Harley's kind of her one friend. And the one time she asked her to do something for her, uh, she basically was like, oh, well, I'm going to go back to the Joker. And everything kind of about Harley's life, unfortunately, still wraps around the Joker, which sucks very much so. Um, and we also learned that the Legion of Doom uh, has a master plan, or at least Scarecrow does, which I'm assuming the Joker is also behind as well. But it's Legion of Doom, so I'm guessing it's a general plan to use Poison Ivy's pheromones in order to poison the water supply in Gotham, which is successful, and we get a bunch of killer trees at the end of the episode that are murdering people. Uh, so if you like your violence, you're getting a bunch of violence in this episode. Psy is actually useful. Um, he, when Psycho, Harley, uh, Clayface, and King Shark all go into Poison Ivy's body to kill her biggest fear, which it ends up being Harley, as I've already said, as the Grim Reaper with giant crazy flame balls, um, we learn that one, obviously she hates her father, she hates things that uh, destroy nature, <clears throat> and also that Psy is a super badass uh, that killed a bunch of people because he's got all his weapons and crazy shit built into his chair, uh, and it was just a slaughter fest, like Queen, F Queen of Fable style slaughter fest, all these people coming into the room trying to obviously stop them from helping Poison Ivy. Uh, Scarecrow also managed to create a specific pheromone with Poison Ivy's pheromone that would scare her, which is why they had to go into her mind in the first place. Harley apologizes to the crew. They're generally okay back together. Um, the Riddler hates Clayface, by the way, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, Clayface is trying to take the spotlight as he is an actor and does the actor things. I think that's kind of making fun of... Uh, that one Star Trek guy <clears throat> that is always like, dramatic pause. Anyway, <laughs> great episode overall. Uh, we are getting Harley and the crew versus the Legion of Doom. I don't know if Harley and Poison Ivy and her crew are all good to go and back together yet. Um, but there's definitely principles of that there as well, which is perfectly fine. Psy can also transform into a car. Uh, which apparently is extremely painful for him, a lot of blood. Uh, so we don't even know how much of Psy is actually a human. Uh, in reality, it looks like maybe he, neck up. That's that, that's it. The rest of them can transform into a car and house all these crazy weapons, which is pretty interesting. Which begs the question, why can't he walk if he's this crazy, awesome robot car weapon thing? Why does he not have the ability to walk? Um, maybe we'll get his octopus sister back to help everybody out. Um, obviously, they need to, um, they're probably going to end up helping Batman um, depoison Gotham. Obviously, there's going to be some possibility of doing that. They are going to be fighting the Legion of Doom, and that is probably going to take up the next two episodes um, and finish off this season. Uh, now, we do know that we are getting 26 episodes minimum, so there is 13 episodes left. I'm assuming we're going to be getting a season two. No idea when, <clears throat> maybe next November-ish. I saw one article that said possibly next November-ish uh, because, they, as I said, they were signed on for 26 episodes with TBS, but it was their choice to kind of split it up and either do what Rick and Morty is doing is where you get the first half of the season and the second half of the season later, um, or where it's just going to end up being a season two, which 13 episodes for a season <clears throat> is pretty reasonable uh, for quite a few shows. I know uh, Final Space did it, Rick and Morty does about 10 episodes, there's a pl plethora of shows where you get about 10 to 15 episodes. Some, you do get the full 26 episodes for a season, but um, it all depends on what the creators would like to do with the show. Um, I think it's, see, I love the show, I'll be honest with you, it seems like it's pretty popular. The subreddit, unfortunately, says otherwise. I think the Harley Quinn TV series subreddit only has like three or 4,000 members. Uh, I just think it, right now it's just because it's a brand new show. Um, and there's not a lot of advertising for it, uh, similar to what happened with Final Space. Uh, it might get more popularity on Netflix, where people will actually think it's a Netflix show, even though it's not. Uh, I know TBS is trying to do different things with different cartoons, because they had a decent amount of uh, 
viewers with Final Space. Obviously, they wouldn't have aired a second season if they didn't, um, but we'll just see what happens with Harley Quinn. As I said, we know we have another 13 episodes after this season. So the next two episodes, probably going to be a lot of Legion of Doom. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the Harley Highway and that um, to kind of rekindle their friendship and say that she was truly over with the Joker after getting hurt for like the 400th time. If she blew up a statue of herself in part of the Harley Highway, which uh, she got in like the second or third episode, if I remember correctly, which is like this crazy cool jumping... Like, if you remember playing with Hot Wheels or, like, uh, Matchbox cars and you had the tracks, so you got the loop-de-loops, you got the crazy swirls, you got the crazy jumps going off one part of the track and landing on the other, and it is just a kind of a crazy cool roller coaster ride, uh, bringing back all of my Hot Wheels days, which I thought was delightful as well. Uh, Scarecrow may or may not be dead. Uh, my thought is because he was in the reservoir when all the chemicals leaked, um, is that he is going to get transformed into some sort of cr giant crazy plant monster thing. Um... And obviously, Poison Ivy can control plants, so uh, she's probably going to play a key part in getting Gotham back to where it needs to be, uh, getting all of her pheromones out of the reservoir. Um, we know she has the ability, uh, by kissing things and uh, drinking some sort of chemical, to kind of reverse the effects of turning people into plants. Uh, so I'm guessing she is probably going to produce a large quantity of that, um, dump it in the reservoir, and hopefully everything gets back to normal and where it needs to be. I mean, obviously... This is more about the villains than the good guys, uh, but there's definitely a part where the good guys seem to typically win most of the time in this anyway, even with Harley doing all of her crazy stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. These have been my thoughts on Harley Quinn, Season 1, Episode 11. And as always, have a good one.